This is Ryan with Game Room Solutions, and today I'm going to show you a walkthrough on the Pulse build we're now loading on our Fire Sticks and Fire TVs, so check this out. And today I'm going to show you uh, a quick walkthrough on one of our Fire Sticks or TVs. We're now loading the Pulse build on there. Uh, really flashy, really nice, auto updates, all that kind of stuff. So um, let's get into it here. The first thing, I'm just going to show you a couple quick, quick items here. Uh, when you first get it, log in with your um, into your Wi-Fi and then either create a new Amazon account for free or use your Prime account if you have one. Uh, once you do, you can go down to your apps. If you don't see Cody in the first one, you'll come down and you'll find it. And when you do find it, if you hit the three horizontal line button on the remote, it'll pull up and there'll be an option here to move to front. I've already moved it to front, but when you do, it'll be the first one in your in your apps and games right there. So that's one thing you can do so you can easily find it. Uh, the next way, I'll show you another way that you can um, access it if you go to settings, applications, manage installed applications, and then you can go down to Kodi and launch it from there. But before we do that, I wanna show you one other thing. We also load something called App Starter on here. So in your uh, <clears throat> in Kodi, all the add-ons, they should auto-update, so you'll be good in there. But every now and again, a new version of Kodi releases, and you need to update it. You obviously don't want to pull out a computer and connect it up and do all that kind of stuff to get Kodi updated. So that's why we load App Starter here. All you have to do is go over to Updates, and you'll see right here in the middle, uh, you can check for a version or just go ahead and update to the latest version. Right now it is 17.3. We always send the newest version out. Uh, but you can just come in here and hit update the latest version. It'll update all your add-ons. Everything will stay intact. You'll be good to go there. So I can launch Cody from here. Or again, I could uh, go back to the front. And it's either in my recent or in my apps. So I can launch it from there. So I'll go ahead and launch it. And again, you'll see the uh, Pulse build here. So you can see here it's a really nice interface uh, for movies, TV shows, music system, and so on. There's a ton of add-ons with this. Um, you can go ahead and just click the header if you want to. It's real flashy. Um, what it'll do here is it'll pull up, I hit movies there, it'll pull up all of the most popular movies. I can go to the left and say, well, no, I don't want popularity. I want um, top movies by revenue, for instance. It'll resort them around or I can search. Um, so I can click one of these. It'll pull up the information here. Um, these are the different add-ons it's going to search through uh, to pull up the movie. I can go down, I can see other movies uh, in this franchise if I want to, other movies that they recommend based on this one, related movies, uh, some of the official videos, YouTube trailers, some of the actors here, so I could click an actor. It'll go out now and find all the movies that actor's in. If I want to quickly uh, go across that. Uh, going back here, so when I hit play, it's going to go search through those few add-ons up top. It'll pull them up. I can select which add-on I want here and, and um, stream the movie. So let me back out of this because there's a couple ways to get to your stuff here. So same thing with TV shows. I can just click the header. It'll look very similar, uh, work a similar way. So you can see there I can, I can sort some of that stuff too. So again, click one uh, of the shows here. It'll pull up all the seasons. I can click a season. And again, there's the different add-ons it's going to look through when I try to play the episode. I can pick an ep episode here. And so if, if, if this is working good for you, then that's great. Again, these are all great add-ons here. But I'm going to back out and show you my favorite add-on. And if you go to TVs or movies, either one, uh, you'll see these two. These two first ones, I think, are the two very best. So if I'm going to TV shows, I'll, I'll show you Exodus. I believe it it works the best overall. So again, there's a lot of different ways I can look at stuff here. I can go into networks. So if you're used to watching cable, this is probably the easiest way to do it. You can say, oh, okay, my show's an ABC show or whatever. Uh, so it'll go through and pull up all the ABC shows. So I can hit one of those. Again, you can go most popular. There's a lot of different ways to do this. So here's the different seasons. Here's all the different episodes here. And again, all of these uh, TV shows, there's not any commercials or anything. It's all cut out, so it just flows right through. What it's doing now is on this episode, it's going out and finding all the different links or sources that it can stream from. Um, if you get tired of waiting on it, once it's about a little more than halfway through, hit OK. It'll still pull everything up. You can see here, here's all the different streams. So I can hit one of those. Uh, if it doesn't work for you, just try another one. 
Um, it should auto try if, if it doesn't find one that's working or it'll kind of scan through to find the best one. Thanksgiving. So you can see there, uh, playing the episode, great quality, uh, good to go there. So again, there's tons of add-ons on here. I personally like Exodus the best. That's that's the one I suggest you uh, you use. But you can go through here and find what works best for you. All of these add-ons will auto-update, so you won't have to worry about any of that. Again, you can uh, set this up yourself. It's a little bit involved because you got to connect a PC up to it, load some software on your PC, push Cody to it, and then configure all this within Cody. You can skip all that with us. I don't know. We'll probably charge you $20 or something more than what it costs for our time to, to load this on. But whenever you get it, it'll be ready to go. So that's it. Uh, pick one up from us, GameRoomSolutions.com, and make sure and like the video. Thanks. Yeah.